a wind turbine basically uses converts the kinetic energy that's in the moving mass of the wind to the air uh, into uh, rotational energy and then into uh, electrical energy via a generator. And you'll remember from your um, physics, early physics, that kinetic energy is uh, half mv squared. Okay. Now, our, most of our wind turbines are circular, and so they have a swept area, as we refer to it, and that has an area. So, and the wind is blowing through there at a velocity v. And so, in a given, in a second, it's going to move distance l. So, here is our kinetic energy, and power is energy divided by time. We've just, just, just shown that. So, kinetic energy divided by time means that we've now got half mv squared over t. Now, we've described this, 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 this expression m over t as the mass flow rate. You can think of it as the kilograms per second of air moving through, through, the, through the, the swept area. And that, in that, that's going to travel distance l in one second, so I can replace this arrangement with a times l, that's the volume, times by the density, that's going to give me the mass. So now I've got ALP, and so if I, or AL rho, I beg your pardon, and L over T is velocity, so we now land up with AV rho, and I put that expression back into our expression for power up here, and we're going to land, replacing M over T, and we land up with this expression, power equals half A rho V cubed. And there are two things to note about this, really. The first is, if you want more power for a fixed wind speed, you've got to have a bigger area. It doesn't matter what shape it is. It can be square or it can be round, but you've got to have a bigger area. And that's why when we start looking at megawatt scale wind turbines, they're big. They're very big. And we just can't get away from all those sort of, for the people who don't like wind, and they say, why can't they be smaller? That's the reason why they can't be smaller. And the other really important thing about it is this V cubed expression. So if you double the wind speed, you don't get twice the amount of power, you get eight times the amount of power. 